A mammoth underground complex is protecting Tokyo from catastrophic flooding. With climate change causing massive floods around the world, Japan has created an engineering marvel to protect one of the globe's most populous capitals. It is being called Japan's very own underground Panthenon. More in our next report. Take a look at this immense structure. Soaring pillars weighing 500 tons each. What looks like a bare concrete tank is actually 30 meters in diameter and 70 meters deep. Here's some perspective. This facility is big enough to hold a historical landmark in some parts. We're talking about the Statue of Liberty. In fact, it can accommodate two football fields. This is the Kasukabe flood tank, Japan's cavernous complex charged with safeguarding its capital Tokyo from flooding. This is the largest facility of its kind anywhere in the world. Given its scale and scope, it is called Japan's very own underground Parthenon, with comparisons being drawn to the resplendent marble temple in Greece. In this region where we have torrential rains, we often have flooding on streets and houses underwater, even if it's not a typhoon. So this infrastructure was built with the aim of diverting water. The threat of climate change has led to catastrophic floods and storms in different parts of the world. Once a century storms have now become increasingly common due to global warming. And so, Japan is investing heavily in flood protection structures across the country. Japan is already in a climate with a lot of rains and is more prone to floods. We are facing the risk of more floods because we are having heavier rains. Having more soft precautions as opposed to hard infrastructure, such as preparing for swift evacuation and being aware of the potential risks of your neighborhood, would be highly effective measures. Professor Yoshimura's advice also serves as a word of caution. Japan's meteorological agency says that the number of typhoons a year has jumped 1.5 times in the last four decades. And so, the Kasukabe flood tank acts as a great defense during massive flooding. It is connected to a 6.3-kilometer tunnel. The system releases the accumulated water into a nearby river. Built at a cost of 230 billion yen, that's nearly $2.2 billion. The Kasukabe reservoir has already been used seven times this year. And studies say that this reservoir has already saved around 148 billion yen in disaster cleanup costs so far. And yet, despite this engineering marvel, experts say that infrastructure alone is not enough to avert damage from floods. But even so, when calamity strikes, Japan has a fortress guarding its capital from devastation. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. At the Gerard Auction House in Paris, a rather rare commodity is set to go under the hammer. An Allosaurus' skeleton is now up for bidding. Allosaurus is a type of dinosaur believed to have inhabited the Earth some 150 million years ago. And now a rare skeleton of an Allosaurus has made its way to the Auction House in Paris. The rare and unknown items usually make their way to auction houses, and this one in particular may be gold for many private museums. Also, because such fossilized skeletons of the Allosaurus are extremely rare. Dans ma maison de vente, je, je, je me fixe comme principe de ne pas passer en vente publique les spécimens très rares, inconnus, qui pourraient intéresser les musées, les musées d'État. En revanche, il y a toute une série de petits musées privés qui sont intéressés par ce genre de choses, parce que c'est très spectaculaire et surtout très rare, et également quelques grands amateurs, quelques grands amateurs qui veulent euh, euh, avoir chez eux une pièce comme ça qui peut euh, les faire rêver. On pense tout de suite à Jurassic Park, on pense à plein de choses. Il y a son savoir reptilien qui, se, qui frétille. The remains of this Allosaurus skeleton, considered to be a part of the Upper Jurassic period, were found in an American ranch in Wyoming in 2016. For a skeleton this old, 70% of it is still intact and was presented for the auction. In an effort to reconstruct some of the parts of the skeleton for the auction, some bits were recreated by specialist moldings. 
bien, on a eu de la grande chance, on est autour de 70%. Il faut comprendre que certaines fois, on trouve des restes de dinosaures, que c'est une patte, c'est une partie du crâne. Là, il y avait vraiment la plus grande partie de la, du squelette. Il manquait certains éléments qui, euh, comme d'habitude, ils étaient reproduits avec des, des moulages. Il y a comme euh, dans, dans une belle laboratoire de préparation, il y a presque une bibliothèque des, euh, des reproductions, donc des éléments des autres animaux qui peuvent être moulés et réintégrés. 10 meters long and three and a half meters high, this allosaurus is estimated to fetch around 416,690 US dollars.